which is a fan-shaped bow, and the train is coming out from just underneath the bow. Well, it is the most splendid length, that train. I don't know how long it is, but it fills the carpet up the nave and embroidered all the way down. And the clergy stand facing her now, waiting for a moment or two while the train is addressed so that the journey up of the Duchess of York family trying to make out. I'm not surprised she can't hear and I don't suppose she imagines. Oh that's We have about an inch of space, but I Steps aside to be thing is that it's about going to the heart of any situation. We can all study books, we can all go to Harvard and wonderful places and we can all learn but at the end of the day it comes down to what the heart feels and following that instinct and having the courage of that is really what it's about. Um, I and believe I, in primary education, I believe in the core values that we've been talking about and the Sarah Ferguson Foundation builds schools in forgotten places, children that are forgotten in Afghanistan or in fact even in our own street corner, you know, here, even in Philadelphia last week I saw a little guy called Ryan and you know he, he, he had very bad cancer and he was about to die and he wanted me to take this book and he said give it to children all over the world so that when they're diagnosed with cancer they don't have to go through what I'm going through oh. and I said I'll take the book and we're going to take that book all over the world and here even today I'm talking about Ryan you know and he, in fact he's died but my foundation is to be able to give children the right to dream and grow. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did you think it was the Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas? <laughs> you see all these fantastic people in yes. the room here today. Each single person in this room might, might be sort of signing up to your registry. Pat showed the Duchess how easy it was to register. You have to fill this out. This one's going to be the top left. One more down. Introduced her to his puppy, and after a quick tour of the RV, it was time to get down to business. The, the segment that we're doing is called From the Heart with Fergie. Why do you think that you have got such an enormous heart? I used to be this very selfish person, taking everything for granted. And um, so when I, I just, I think that changed over time with all the things that I went through. I don't want my children to suffer, what so many children suffer. There are more cancer deaths from sedentary lifestyle, poor nutrition in America than smoking and anything else. The 
best thing you can ever do for your child is be a role model.